There's nothing spookier than a makeover. Especially when your closet is 50% basketball shorts. It's ladylike, and we're styling Ryan and Shane. Oh. <laughs> They're yeah, oh, yeah. That, oh, we're here now. <laughs> I'm Ryan. I'm Shane. Hey. BuzzFeed Unsolved, starring amateur detectives Ryan and Shane, dives into true crime and supernatural mysteries, which, as you might guess, are largely unsolved. From grim murders and haunted asylums, to conspiracy theories and extraterrestrial activity, there is nothing that Ryan and Shane haven't pursued since the show first aired on February 4th, 2016. If you didn't know, now you know. Let's talk about how this video came to be. So someone tweeted at me that they were still waiting for the Kristen and Ryan style swap. And I was like, well, that video is never gonna happen for a variety of reasons, but mostly because I don't think Ryan would ever let me style him. And then you responded with. I don't know what I responded with, but the sentiment was, you got another thing coming to you. Like, <laughs> you have no idea what's going on up in this brain. Uh, Wait, why did this person say, when is the Ryan and Kristen style video? Was said, that like teased at some point? I don't remember no, that. No, I think it was a joke in another Lady Like video. Like basically, Devin and Jen did a style swap and then Freddie and Chantel did a style swap and there's five of us, so I was the only one left. Tell us who you want Kristen to style swap with. And it doesn't have to be one of us. It could be someone from BuzzFeed in general. Like it could be Ryan Vergara. And then it became like kind of an ongoing a joke. Thing. Yeah, a whole thing. Oh. But yeah, it kind of sort of spun out of control. Like a wheel of cheese going down a hill. And here we are. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it happened. And then me too. Yeah, and then she too. I mean, you, you get one of the boys, you gotta get the other yeah, one too. It's package like, deal. Yeah, it's like buying at Costco. Yeah. You have to buy in bulk. Yeah. We are planning on giving you guys a day look and a night look. That's more thought than I've ever yeah, put into any of one outfit per day <laughs> yeah. for me. Sometimes my outfits span multiple days. Mine too, like I could wear, I could get a couple a couple days out of my jeans. Oh, like jeans? Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, everyone does yeah, that. Sure. Do you guys wash jeans? What? Ryan, how would you describe Shane's style? A substitute teacher, adjunct professor that thinks he's maybe cooler than he is, uh, or trying to be cool. A guy who's like, anytime he's in the room, there's a danger of a chair being turned this way and being sat on. Sad. And like, you know, you know what I'm talking about, Shane. Like one of these, like, one of these, like. <laughs> yeah, no, I know what you're talking about. <sighs> you don't have to demonstrate. Yeah, I was like, was that supposed to be a compliment? No, it's not. No, okay. absolutely. <laughs> okay, Shane, how would you describe your style? Uh, comfy. Okay, I meant visually. Oh, I like monotone things, not head to toe, but you know, a white button up shirt, a nice colored pant. Yeah, I like a lot of solid colors. I don't wear a lot of like sweatpants. So like you don't, you've never done a jogger? I've never done a jogger. Have you ever dipped into pattern mixing? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. <laughs> Shane, how would you describe Ryan's style? Uh, sporty, uh, lazy, trendy-ish. Those three, words. those three words feel very incongruous with each other. I know. Yeah. Oh, incongruous. That's your stuff. <laughs> sure. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's good. I think I wear buttons more than you. I'm... Yeah, it's, that's purely just because I'm lazy, though, because it's exhausting to button it's up It's exhausting a shirt. buttoning up a shirt? Yeah. That's, all, that's exclusively why I hate button flies on jeans. Well, you... those are diabolical. I think you dress <laughs> like a, a hip dad. I'll take that. But See, like a young good. one, like maybe a teen dad. I do wear my denim jacket all the time. I will say, you have always had a very sick sneaker game. I always have had a good shoe game. You do. For the record, Ryan has also asked me where I've bought certain things. and be like, what, what, what are you You've doing? asked me that too! Don't make that into a weird I, thing. Uh, sure I do, because I think you have a good style. You have good style too, I think. Here, here and then. Yeah, hit, here or miss. <laughs> hit or miss. So we're gonna go visit your closet soon. Yeah, we are. What are we gonna find? You're gonna find a lot of jerseys. I probably own about 10 to 12 jerseys. 10 to 12 I have enough jerseys? jerseys to clothe the entire cast of Nellyville. When I walk outside, I don't want people to think, oh, he tried a little too hard. Oh, okay. So you don't <laughs> really, you're not a big fan of statement pieces. Not really, no, because then it's like, that guy tried a lot, didn't work. That's where I'm at with that too. I don't, I'm not trying to express anything with what I wear. <laughs> I'm just trying to be comfortable and not walk out into the street uh, nude. Great. So we're gonna go take a look at you all's closet. Yeah. And we're gonna go ghost hunting in your closet. Full disclosure, I have a new, uh, very nervous cat. So I removed the contents of my closet and put it out on the floor for you. It's all there. It's just been shifted. It's a traveling exhibition. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Otherwise, the cat will kill us all. Okay. 
<laughs> he's he's right. wonderful. It'll be a different sounds video. like a good cat. He's, he's adjusting. Welcome to the lair of Bergara. Actually, it sounds like I'm gonna murder you. It's my house. Here's the room, has all the essentials. Glad you grabbed a lay that's imported all yes. the way from uh, Hollywood Boulevard. What's that over there? Oh. That's a guitar, and then of course, a katana. The guitar is for therapy, so I could play it and just play out my feelings, but the katana is there to murder people. That's the only purpose. How long you been taking lessons for on the guitar? No, we're not doing this, Shane. <laughs> what? You've been so proud of it. Now no, it's we're actually not. a good no, time. No, I actually did not mention it at all. You were the one who mentioned it. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, no, we're... no Bergara okay, well, guitar. Okay, then we're gonna talk about your closet instead. Yeah, we could do that instead. Let's talk about Ryan Bergara's closet. There was a lot there. There was a lot there. Oh, that's, that's nice. nice. That's this nice is shirt. nice. Yeah, I like this. It's got a little trim, a little print. Yeah, it's a little sheer, so you could see my nipples. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And I'm not a fan of that. Those nipples okay. are gonna be set free if I wear that. Okay. Can't have that. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. <laughs> How many basketball jerseys does one person possibly need? Clearly enough to pass out to the entire cast of Nellyville. Yeah, I, I lost count how many jerseys he has. It's like, it's like a clown car. Yeah. They just keep coming. <laughs> Wait, is this, a, is this another jersey? Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's from the BuzzFeed Basketball League. Okay. What is the point of having 12 basketball jerseys? Is it so like if the 11 of them that go to the State of the Union somehow perish, there is one that can continue the government of Ryan's closet? Yes. Is that the point? That's exactly what it is. That has a chocolate stain on it. <laughs> Um, that's why I don't wear it. So far, I have two printed shirts and you don't wear them because too much nipple, too much chocolate. Yeah, too much, in that order. Okay, all right. Nips and chocolate. Nips and chocolate. Basically, these are the shirts I usually wear. Everything else that's pushed over to the right have just kind of disappeared into obscurity. The general vibe I'm getting here is a lot of like, please don't pay attention to me clothes. Yes, yeah, that's my goal. Okay, so that means that probably what I needed to do is the opposite of that. We need to cause traffic accidents. Five car pile up. No one dies okay. though. Everybody's dead. No. <laughs> just a bunch of just a bunch of fender benders. Ryan is somebody who's afraid of statement pieces. Yes. And you shouldn't be afraid of the statement piece because it's like, if you don't have a statement piece, it's like having a Thanksgiving dinner with just sides. Yeah. You need that's the true. you need that turkey. You need the turkey. Or the vegan turkey. You need a big hunk of meat or meat replicant. Yeah. Or in the ham. middle or ham or something. Mm -hmm. You need something. These are the dress shoes. Um one of these has uh, this situation going oh, on. Okay. Oh. Well, when it has a mouth, it's no longer Yeah, I got I got to take those to the shoe doctor. This is the the show sneakers right here. That it, it goes from uh, hottest to to coldest top to bottom. This is the real heat up here. We got like the classics. This is a custom but this is the Black Cement 3s, White Cement 4s, Space Jams. Then we got my Adidas line right here. We got some Ultra Boosts, NMDs. Shane actually has these. I, uh, these are the ones I sent to him. They're very good, very good. And then uh, <laughs> these are the boots that I kill ghosts in. Yeah, ghost stompers. These mm -hmm. are my ghoul killing boots. Aren't they already dead? All right, so I think I've seen enough here. Me too. <laughs> I think I've seen enough. Now we're here at my apartment. Excellent. Cool. And we're about to see all of this. Oh, right. As I said, I had to transport all of this from my closet into this room because I have a new cat and he is terrified. These are my ghost hunting boots. You'll see there's a lot of wear and tear on the bottom. Don't touch the bottom then. You're going to get ghouls. What's the deal with this? Do you wear this ever? Yeah, this is pretty new. I bought this a couple, couple months ago. That's a spicy little number. It's spicy. That's a spicy little number. I'm not crazy about the fact that it looks like a 70s tablecloth, but I'm just trying to find more like garden prints. Uh -huh. Garden prints. You'd order a guac for the table wearing that shirt. You'd be that kind of guy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think I bought this around the same time as this floral shirt. I was just like, hey, here's a weird mm. pattern. I'm not crazy about it. Doesn't it doesn't do much for me. Yeah. It's different. Kind of looks like little animal tracks all over it. Shane's closet had more color and a little bit more pop than I anticipated. So he has florals. Mm -hmm. He has a good amount of blue. He loves blue. He has pants in multiple colors. Let's move on to the pants. Mm -hmm. Many pairs of chinos. Yeah, that's what I'm trucking in these days. <laughs> yeah, a lot of these are from, okay, Uniqlo. <laughs> these may all be Uniqlo. Uniqlo. Honestly, <laughs> All these jeans Uniqlo. that you have right here, Shane? All Uniqlo. Do you have all these? I think Uniqlo. I have every single one of these jeans. Okay, because yeah. we straight up didn't do Ryan's we, pants. We forgot to do my pants. Uniqlo. And it's fine because Shane has pretty They're much- They're all Uniqlo. I'll save you the work here. They though. really, I thought you were being- No, they are. This is what mine look they like They truly too. are. Shane has chinos on chinos on chinos. Yeah, he has like a ton of chinos. <laughs> he has a ton of chinos. In every color of the rainbow, pretty much. For someone who is 6'4", 
Finding pants that fit really well or feel good, uh, it's very difficult. These all wear in public. These are like, really? hey, summertime, baby. Oh, those are short. Yeah, those are nice. Yeah, I show off my knees. Yeah, these you can wear those out. I like this in the in the colder season. It's like a light yeah, I mean, hoodie I, situation. I mean, it's what you're wearing when you have on. -ish. It's different. It's the same thing. It's very different. Shane clearly knows what looks good on him. He knows what he feels comfortable in, and he really doesn't venture too far outside of those bounds. Mm -hmm. This would be something that you could consider pattern mixing with. Remember when I was talking about that earlier? Yes, I do remember. That. So this is a very subtle. What would I mix it with? Print. I don't know. You could do a striped pant. He does have some hats. He has hats. If people see this, they're like, oh, you look like a dad on vacation. I'm like, yeah, I don't give a shit. Sometimes I like looking like a scarecrow. Yeah. I, I put this on. Yeah. <laughs> Stay away, crow. Stay away from my crops. This is a little more fun because it's, you know, it doesn't quite hit the fedora line. It just gives me the shade I need. Yeah. Yeah, it's for a scarecrow detective. Scarecrow detective. <laughs> what would this be, a bomber? It, it's a bomber. It's a bomber. Yeah. It's a corduroy oh, bomber. I like that. It's nice, Yeah, Jane. this is really Thank nice. You. It still has the tank on. It's got like a Mr. Rogers feel, too. We gotta get him in that jacket. That jacket, I know, right? I was like, we could probably restyle you just with pieces from your closet you aren't currently using. Exactly. But we're not gonna do that. We're gonna look fancy. <laughs> we're gonna look fancy for one day and then right back to your regularly <laughs> scheduled program, yeah, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what you guys do. This will be great. Well, uh, today's the day, big guy. We're gonna, we're gonna get our funny little fancy clothes. Funny? funny. I don't think, Why are they funny? I don't, I don't think they'll be You're funny. making some big assumptions <laughs> off the jump. <laughs> They're gonna be, I'm gonna, we're be gonna become fancy boys. We're gonna be fancy, fancy boys. boys. I know fancy boys. Freddie has picked out a day look and a night look for me. And uh, Kristen has picked out uh, a night look and a day look for me. Both of these gentlemen do dress relatively well, mm -hmm. which is why it's a bit of a challenge for us because, you know, we're just trying to elevate and we want there to be, you know, enough of an impact for them to actually carry on these new things in the future. There's so much excitement radiating from both of us right now. Oh! Wait, 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 is that wait. better? Yeah, it's good. Don't do that. Yeah. Bring us the clothes. Bring me the clothes. Bring me the clothes. I want the clothes. Oh, this is a deep V. <laughs> I mean, it's not crazy deep, but it's like, it feels 2010 deep. Hey. Am I supposed to tuck this in? No. That's what I thought. Is it a French tuck? What the hell is a French tuck? Oh, Ryan. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> Here we go. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. This is a good look. I just sorry. I didn't mean to laugh. It just took me off guard. This is a fanny pack, right? It looks like a, I would say that's a fanny pack. It's a shoulder right? bag. But look at this. <laughs> You can put all your jelly beans in there. I'm telling you, I'm loving I, these pants. I just looked at the pants. Get a load of, yeah. Those are wacky. Look at the ankle situation here. <laughs> just. <laughs> They're just out to play. They yeah, yeah, out yeah. To play. And the shoes. You can't beat them. What about the bag, though? I want to know what you think about the bag. The bag, I'm just living with it, you know? I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to have accessories. So this entire outfit is from ASOS. I knew it. I don't know if I see you in a t-shirt a lot. I feel like you wear a lot of button ups and button downs. You will wear a graphic tee here and there. Yeah, graphic tees pop in the mix here and yeah. there. Yeah, and then the pants, I was like, yeah, I need statement pants for Shane. Oh, they're making a statement. Yes. <laughs> What's the fabric like on these? Oh, give them, give them a... Give them a feel, a touch and That's feel. Good. That's good. Yeah. And I know you said you like floral, so like... I do. Yeah. And you and have this a floral is a, shirts. Yeah, this is a good floral pattern. I, I think I'm slightly picky about my floral patterns, uh -huh. but this is working for me. Good. I got you these Adidas, which you actually have them in a different colorway. But as you've seen, my <laughs> whole thing is to buy one thing in many and colors, so, so I that's kept, fine. Yes, I kept you yeah. in line with that. I also kept the shirt really simple, and I think it's a good size because I think the pants are really fitted, so I feel like that balances yeah. it out as well. It's like slightly baggier than I usually wear, but in a comfortable, sleek way. I like it. If you give me those pants, they'd fit me normal. They'd probably be too they, long for you. Yeah, they probably would be. They'd be on my heels. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan, why don't you jump in the mirror? Take yeah, let's look. do it. Yeah, let's yeah. see what we got here. Yeah, looks great. Looks great. You did a great job. Better than I mean, I could that do. look. I know. <laughs> yeah, I've never worn white pants before. It looks fine. Uh, they're a little long, but that's because of the. Uh, we need to, I just need to get these bad boys hemmed. Those are cool shoes. Those are good shoes, right? You wear like a lot of dark denim on bottom and then you mm -hmm. wear a lot of light shirts up top. So I was like, oh, let's just flip that. Also, you wear shirts that tend to be a little baggier and yeah. like, why not?
not where I'm a little slimmer fit. Yeah, show off those guns, Ryan. <laughs> like, hey. Uh, yeah, I actually, this, this shirt fits quite well. It's a little tight, but you know what? I, I, can, I can get used to this. I it think looks... you're just not used to the fit. The white pants, very refreshing. A nice pattern on top, which we don't see from you very I, often. I, I am growing on the white pants. Nice milky bottom, it's great. Milky bottom. Like I jumped into a glass of milk. Half Old full. milky bottom burger. I jumped into Bergara. a glass full of milk. Well, that's that. We're gonna take these out around the office. See take what a first spin around yeah. the old office. See if we uh, turn some heads, break some necks. I think we will. Whoa! People yeah. are gonna be, <laughs> be treating for whiplash today, I'll tell you what. <laughs> This one's definitely, uh, it's vibrant. It's my attention, definitely. It's a head turner. I like these pants a lot. They're really something, right? Do you like them? I love the pants. This fanny pack, have you been instructed to wear it this way? Well, so they gave it to us and I said, oh, a fanny pack. And they're like, well, that's not a fanny pack. That's a fanny pack, right? Fanny pack. You can keep your chapstick in there. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I saw your top hat, and I was like, it's a great shirt, very on brand for you. You like look and feel comfortable. Yeah. And then as I went down, I was like, white pants, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but then these shoes. The shoes are fancy. Little, these fancy little these shoes here. Shoes, you like. What? Ah, really Islander. Yeah. Speechless. Um, but you've got white pants too. You're kind of. Yeah, I got the disco summer. stew vibe here. Yeah, you're kind of yeah. summer. You Wait. guys are both. Both the boys kind of summer. Oh, summer boys. You look yeah. good. It's like, I, like I definitely was like, this is, looks like something Shane would not wear. <laughs> no, I do love them though. I told her, I, you know, I love a floral. Can I buy them and then we'd be twins? Yeah, please do. Taking the white, white pants out for a little spin when it comes to eating. A precarious proposition for me not spilling on white pants. I think I was able to get away with a little bit more just because, you know, this is it. This is like, I think an enhancement of what I normally wear. It still kind of looks like me. Whereas yours went in the complete opposite direction, you definitely turned some heads. Okay, so are you ready to transform into the night look? I'm ready for yeah. the night. I think I'm ready. I love watching things fly out. <laughs> <laughs> Come on out! Reveal yourselves! Oh, well, how about that? Well, well, well. Well, well, well. We meet again. Yes, we do. A lot of times when things are a little bit of a tighter fit, I feel restricted, but look at all the, look at all the hip movements. They got a slight stretch to them? Look at all the hip movement. I could go on the dance floor and really, really that's what you're doing out there? I'm loving the, uh, the accents here. I like the pink. Yeah, yeah, that's good. There is just so much going on here that, I, I love the shoes, by the way. Is this the um, pattern mixing? Yeah. That's, that's what's remember. happening here. I, did, I do remember. This fits your color palette, too. It does, absolutely. Dark, green, rich, greens, blue. blues. Yeah, feel them. It's like a, it's like a felty almost. Oh, they feel like home. Yeah, yeah. They feel like home. Yeah, they feel yeah. great. Wow, I'm very tall. <laughs> I did a little pattern mixing here. Uh -huh. Um, this look is from Forever Twenty One. Mm -hmm. The boots are from ASOS. I knew that you said that you really like floral, so I wanted to continue that theme. We did it a little bit more lively for the day look. Uh -huh. And then I kind of transitioned you into a more night floral. This is floral after dark. Floral after dark, <laughs> if you will. Yeah. Yes. Also, both of these feel. Like pieces, like they go great together, but also, I mean, these pants. Yeah. Just go with a white button up shirt, could go with any old button. Oh, those look great with a white button up yeah. shirt. Yeah. Thank and you. this top, similarly, could go with shorts, yeah. go with. You could you wear know. them separately or together. Mm -hmm. When it comes to like night looks and formal looks, I definitely just kind of go my own way. Like that's just the way I am and the way I dress. So that's sort of how I put this together with that sort of thing in mind. Yeah. So. I'm feeling your personality in here. Good. Yeah, I, don't, great. I don't think it needed any precursor. No. I thought it looked okay, pretty good. good. Also, I don't know if people may be like, it's too I casual it tonight. Amazing. I mean, I could definitely yeah. go this route. Yeah. I've got the pieces at home where I yeah. could probably pull that off. This is something new for me. So you're fulfilling a need here that needs to be fulfilled. Yeah, let's do this. Get on out there, buddy. <laughs> Did you say that like a, like a dad? Go no, on. Kid at the soccer game. Oh my God, this looks great. Yeah. I mean, I love it. Yeah, these pants fit. I've never seen dress pants actually fit me, so that's just a weird look. I love it. Uh, the tie looks great, has a great fabric, and this is like the perfect color splash. Yeah, I couldn't have done this with me, but you did it, thank God you were here. I was actually gonna do a statement pant for you, mm -hmm. and it wasn't, I couldn't figure it out, so instead I found this blazer, and then I decided to just build a look around the blazer. You're wearing monk shoes. 
That's what the style of those shoes are called. Monk shoes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The blazer, pants, and shoes are from ASOS. And then the shirt is from Forever 21. First of all, you don't own any like casual blazers, which is like wild to me. Um, yeah, I'm not a blazer guy. I never owned a blazer. Yeah, yeah. But I think that like, I didn't just want to give you like a boring blazer. I wanted to give you something with like a little bit of personality. Is this like too fancy for uh, just normal no. day stuff? Here's the thing. As someone who wears dresses every single day, it doesn't really, like, you're never too dressed up. Like, I think the only rule is, like, don't wear a tux to work. Well, I'm, I'm not planning on doing <laughs> okay, that. Okay, so. well, then you're fine, yeah. So it's like, this is kind of like a formal casual look. You could wear this to, like, a summer wedding. You could wear this out to, like, a fun night out, a nice dinner. This is great. I feel like a, a fancier little man already. I gotta get the, I gotta perfect my fancy laugh. Like. <laughs> <laughs> don't open that mouth. <laughs> there you go. I'd wear this after I, had a grueling day on the back nine. Come back, have a little cocktail. It's a golf reference. Shane. I know. Oh, Shane, they clash quite a bit, don't they? <laughs> it's called pattern mixing, oh. and it's happening to me. I like all the pieces individually, but... It's snazzy. It's snazzy. I'll say that. I hear some hesitation. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah a just a little bit. You know, like, I don't know that the pants match all that much. Now, that's sure. called pattern mixing. Oh. Okay. Apparently. I, I don't know what You did say that right there with an air of confidence. You said, well, that's actually well, called Well, now that's called pattern mixing. <laughs> that's called pattern mixing. What do you think of the uh, the pink um, accents? Pink little blast of pink. I like these accents. I like what Ryan's going, got going on all over. And I feel like your uh, top and bottom are going to two different parties. I love your shirt. I love the shoes. I hate your pants. You hate these pants. I don't know, I get a very Sherlock Holmesy vibe from the pants. Down here, yes. And the shoes are actually really cool. Thank you. Mixed reviews on this so far. Mixed patterns, mixed reviews. I mean, very good. I, I didn't notice it right away, and I like it. So <laughs> it didn't stick out in a bad yeah, way. Yeah, it's definitely me. more radical than what I uh, The only thing I got going on is these color splashes of pink. Yeah. I enjoy those. <laughs> is this real? <laughs> no, it's not. I actually didn't realize it wasn't real until right now. What I did is coming around the corner right now. What? Is this American wow. president? I've never seen your ankles before. Neither have I. This is the first time I've seen them in my entire life. I like the skinny tie. Skinny tie's a good look. I've wanted pants like this for a very long time. Yeah. They look great on you. I love the pants. Thank you. Everything fits you perfectly. Ryan looks like your bodyguard right he now. He does. <laughs> Work's almost over, so now these snappy ghoul boys are about to hit the town, grab some drinks. Yeah, show off our new threads. Yeah. Be like, uh, Papa's got a brand new bag kind of thing. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. stroll up to that bar, <laughs> I'm gonna be like, hey, give me a fucking scotch. Okay, don't do that. Yeah, like that. Don't do that. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did, we did, it. It. We did a ladylike unsolved crossover. Cheers. Cheers. That would stress me out drinking that in the white pants. Well, you're not wearing the white pants now. Good thing I'm not wearing them. <laughs> <laughs> we got styled by Freddie and Kristen, and it was, uh, I would say it was an adventure. And good for us overall. Yeah. It was illuminating. Yeah, illuminating is another that's good the word, word I use. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a word I will also use. I'll use that as well. I thought I was ready for patterns, and I was. I was ready for patterns, <laughs> but I, it never even occurred to me that the patterns would be down here. I was thinking, well, <laughs> these are the pants. <laughs> Obviously, the patterns don't go there. When I think of patterns, I think pants. I automatically go to pants. Yeah. In Same. my head, yeah. Well, you and I have different brains. We do. And that's what's beautiful about this. What would you wear again? What would you leave behind? What would you never take home? I probably wouldn't wear the big uh, V-neck again. I do love a V-neck, and it did give me the confidence to wear more V-necks again, because I miss them. I really do. I like a little more closer. Snug. Snug. So you'd wear a tighter V? Probably. Okay. But I did love the pants. I didn't mind the bag. It was nice to uh, just have all my stuff in one thing. Yeah. What would you wear again of your night look? I feel like those pants will look great with a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Same yeah. with the shirt. I didn't mind the way they look together. But again, as someone who likes to just sort of blend, blend yeah. I'll probably take them out one at a time. Okay. Shoes were great. So Ryan. Yes. Okay, what of your day look would you wear again? The boots I'd probably wear, I'd have to find what I would wear them with. Mm -hmm. I would definitely wear the shirt again because the shirt fits great. The pants, I don't know. I don't know if I could rock with those white pants. I just, it's just it's just too much pressure for me to have to not spill on those all day. I'm scared about wearing a white shirt. Well, are, you are you terrified right now? 
I mean, a little bit, yeah. I'm not eating something in this moment, so in this moment, not terrified. But earlier, I was eating a chewy bar. And, you yeah. know, yeah. there's chocolate in there. Sure. That sounds really scary. <laughs> okay, so what would you wear again of your night look? All of it, yeah. Really? Yeah, it was all great. I have no complaints about the night look. It was a, it was a home run. I would have to give the, the white pants another hard look. Whether or not they see the light of day from my closet, Remains to be seen. Okay, uh, well, you should say in the comments whether or not Ryan should wear the white pants again. But I'm telling you right now, anything you suggest, like, t sound off in the comments whether Ryan should do this. It could be the most outlandish thing. It could be like, oh, well, should Ryan wear a chef's hat? Sound off in the comments. <laughs> People will be like, yeah, put that f***ing chef hat on. I don't know, I think Guaranteed. You're, you're, you're giving Guaranteed. Our, you're Guaranteed. Gi you're giving our audience a little bit more credit. I think they just want to see me look foolish. <laughs> I think that's like, what? Granted, <laughs> Wait, I would love a chef hat. Okay, never mind. A chef hat would be cool. Are you talking like the cartoon, like, yeah, like all cartoonish the way up with the little poofy hat? <laughs> yeah, like a like the Swedish chef, like a Remy in Ratatouille. Remy. Re Remy. Oh, Remy. Is it Remy? It's Remy. What's the uh, Fusel? Uh, Are you thinking of Sam Remy? What are you saying? What's the name? Fusola? What's the name of the the, the fucking blanky white guy? Linguini? Linguini. Linguini. There it is. I thought I almost said Fusili. <laughs> You gotta watch your Ratatouille more, man. It's a good movie. Yeah. Styling Ryan and Shane for a day. Lady tested. Lady, Lady unsolved. <laughs> Ryan, what the f was what that the, what delivery? The f what the f is your delivery? <laughs> also, it looks like we're about to do dips right now. I just started, <laughs> some dips, bro? I just started laughing in the middle of my line because you said, Should we do that again? Lady unsolved. Let's just Let's, are Let's we done? Go. Okay, <laughs> we're done. I told you we were gonna f it up. Hey, Unsolved is on a new channel, and now your part. Subscribe, Subscribe here. here. That was my part.